that's the one I asked you. Yeah, if you tried that one. That one was disgusting it, tasting, but it was pretty good. Yeah, and it smells like nappies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's skunk piss. You'll love it. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, really, right. really nasty. Really that? nasty taste, though. I mean, yeah. It was I, like I think it gets a point where those tastes, you just, you know, it's just a bit too much. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Jerry, are you a DMA a, 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 a guy? Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. What about what about what yeah. are our UK friends here? Yeah, we like it. DMHA for us makes us work harder in the gym. DMAA is more a happy, floaty, long day feeling. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and me, I just like anything that makes me feel happy. I don't give a fuck what it is. <laughs> <laughs> You're always. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I don't care. You're it's always easy. happy. Yeah, look, look, I've been off stims, Jerry, seven days now. Seven days, nothing, not an ounce, no caffeine, nothing. Hey, you're still I've fucking been off happy. stims for about five seconds. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe on me, bitch. Give me some. <laughs> oh, Eddie, I Eddie, I know he's brought it up, but I still, I still don't get it, brother. You're Hispanic and you're a fucking stim junkie, but yet you can go weeks at a time without caffeine, man. I don't know how you do it. Yeah, it's just because, you know what it is? I guess when I, you know what it is? I grew up in an era where there was no Stims. Come on, you were there at one time. There was nothing. We didn't have none of this shit that these kids got now. <laughs> we still drank two, three cups of coffee a day, though. No, I, I, I was never trained. I was never taught to like coffee. Nobody really drank it. I mean, my grandmother did, but nobody else did. So I just picked up on the alcohol. <laughs> 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 that was it, you know? <laughs> shit, but no, it's just like I said. You know what it is? I don't want to fry my receptors because I can tell. When they get fried, I already know when it's coming. You know, you could tell between now all of a sudden weird anxiety and fucking shaking and tweaking and shit. And I'm like, nah, nah, I can't. <laughs> yeah. Know? So there's Jerry, a way you know when to take your breaks. That's all. I can't believe I went a month. <laughs> I was ready to fucking murder somebody. <laughs> I think me and Craig have our stim break from, from like roughly, roughly midnight to about 8 a.m. the next day. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what is it called? Ramadan? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say rub it out? What? <laughs> rub it out. Yeah, that's our saying. <laughs> <laughs> the window when I'm sleeping is when I'm on a break. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and even then, it's probably still in your system <laughs> to a degree. Yeah, that's true, too. <laughs> that's why you get the same nice. through tonight. Yeah. If we could all come up with an idea, we could make billions of dollars. Here's the idea. Make something that cleans the receptors out. You take it on day one, it wipes it out, makes them fresh, and everything works the next day. Nobody there is a product it. like that, isn't there? Yeah, I got it upstairs, and it doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's for cocaine, yeah, no, though. That's to make clear your system of cocaine and stuff, Eddie. Wrong, wrong product. Yeah, he's got the wrong one. <laughs> no, it's not that one. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, Jer are, ahead, you, are you guys are you guys opposed to prop blends like 100 percent no no i'm not. still with you and if we can sort of roughly work out that they can still be clinical dosed by the act, amount of active ingredients and by doing the math then then we don't mind them so much but generally yeah we would prefer obviously like anyone them to be all transparent but we don't yeah. automatically write them off and call them shit yeah that's the yeah, same way like, it's me. just like uh, like i told uh, sean with all hefe I, it's a prop blend and it still worked pretty decent you know so that's what i'm saying it's like you really don't know man you know it's like fuck man you're just gonna you just gotta see what works for you and whatever works for you it doesn't matter what it is to me that's how i feel i just if it works for me i like it you know that's yeah it. yeah I, I, think, I think i i think uh the jack 3d is, a, is an evident of that like it's prop blend but it's fucking fantastic you yeah. Know? yeah yeah it's hard i think everyone <laughs> liked it right i don't think anyone didn't like it yeah we thought was quite on, intense. I was on. I was <laughs> off stems for three days before I tried it. And I took the two scoops, man. I was fucking blind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Johnny, did you try that one? On the max serving. I have. I've not tried that one, but but I think, guys, for all fairness, for for as smart as we are, I think we could all sniff out though. Like, if there is, let's just say, if there's a prop blend, let's say that citrulline, beta alanine, caffeine, and it's a five right. gram dose. Right. I mean, it's pretty right. fucking obvious. But, yeah, exactly. yeah, I, I, they're the ones we had. Was that the yeah, thousand milligram that's... of caffeine, Eddie? No, it's just this company's been known. They at one time they overdosed their shit with like a thousand milligrams of caffeine, and that was the reason why it was working. Yeah, that's <laughs> what I said. Uh, yeah. 
kids were fucking yeah. spinning at the gym. <laughs> <laughs> We've got that, that uh, product called Viper Power at the moment. It's um, it's a 1.5 gram prop blend, um, and it's uh, it's made up of just a bit of your himbine, caffeine, and caffeine demalate. But you just know that that those uh, those caffeine dosages are over a gram in total. It's gonna be it's gonna be maybe mad it's related to Excelsior. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you guys review that? We're gonna. We haven't done yet. Oh my God! Make sure you take that at either like five a.m. in the morning. Yeah, we keep it up the whole day. <laughs> what would chest. you rather take out of one point five grams of straight caffeine or two hundred milligrams of DMHA and two hundred milligrams of DMAA? I would rather go with the exotics than any day. <laughs> <laughs> really? I think I would as well. You know, one point five grams of caffeine would do me in something terrible. Hell yeah! Or, You'd be fucking having seizures on the road. <laughs> Or a gram of caffeine versus 10 milligrams of alpha yo. Woo! Oh, Gary! No. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sign him up for that challenge. <laughs> or combine them. No. Not Jerry, a chance in sweat. hell. Sweat. sweat will be pouring out of your fucking armpits. <laughs> Actually, though, in all fairness, I know Matt did a review on one of them that I think it had five milligrams of, of alpha yo, and he liked Woo. it. Matt's an alpha yo fucking junkie. No. God, no. Man, God no. Depends you on go, his boys. Hunters, I guess. Here you go, boys. Did anybody try this one? <laughs> no. Oh, is that got ten milligrams of it, isn't it? Yup, wait, here we go. Wait, oh, where is it? Eddie, is that Sarms in it too? Is that the one with Sarms? Oh, this one has is that? Yo, me and Javier took this. This has ten milligrams of alpha yo per scoop. <laughs> yeah, that we I think we're getting sent that one. Yes, wow. good luck. <laughs> Go watch my review. Me and Javier were holding on to each other because we thought we were dying. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, this motherfucker kicks in in a matter of three minutes. You're fucking like, what's happening? I think I see Jesus. <laughs> That's what that Skull Labs one was like. We did, we reviewed the other week. You know, that angel dust. Yeah. Yeah, how oh. was that? Christ, that, that niacin flush was the strongest. It felt like the egg was going to come off. Yeah. <laughs> Your fucking skin was on fire! It was, it was like as red as this top, my old body. Yeah. Not <laughs> oh, a yeah, chance in fucking hell. Come on, Jerry. <laughs> God, no. <laughs> come on, we'll How, is on How is huh? that legal? How is that legal? That's what I want to know. How is that legal? It can't be legal. Well, it's got That's DMAA why. in it as well, so it's definitely not legal. They're not caring. And what scares me <laughs> is what scares me is when the females use this with ten milligram with ten fucking gram, milligrams of fucking alpha yo. <laughs> God, <That's> insane, <laughs> Eddie, is that the one that has osterine in it too, or no? No, that's uh. Oh God, you guys ever see that one? There's a fucking no. one out there pre-workout with osterine in it. Yeah, yeah I think that's it. Really? It was, no, uh, who's that? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Five milligrams of osterine sarm. Yeah. Oh my god. He said, oh my god. <laughs> right. It's right. the number one number SARS pre workout for review, bro. Come on. <laughs> I think right, I tried that, that company. Yeah, it was Anthony Labs, weren't it? Yeah. The Carnage. What one. was the name? Anti Hero Labs Carnage had SARS in it when we went to Ruesco. <laughs> yeah, someone recently reached out to us with SARM pre workout. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't remember that one. Yeah. This one's osterine. It's got five milligrams, but I'll tell you one thing. It's fucking garbage. It doesn't work. Really? Yeah. yeah. But why the Yo, fuck well, would you put I gotta show you this. I got to show you boys this one pre-workout one day. When we get a chance, I'll show you. Not now, but it's got LGD4033 in it. It's that SARM ligand draw. What? And it's in there. And they're selling it on their website for 250 bucks. <laughs> 250? 250 if you want it. Does it make you a oh, cup of tea? Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> it better be fucking giving me a blowy shit for two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to look like Phil Eve coming off of that stuff. <laughs> it worth it. You want to be two fifty pounds? <laughs> Holy shit! Jerry, let, let's, You're not let's, even in there. Let's let's go back for a minute here, guys. Jerry, what's the what's the first pre workout you've ever taken, or do you remember? Oh man. I don't remember. Uh, how did I know, Eddie? How did I fucking know? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, your first one. <laughs> well, it wasn't sport, but I think it might have been C4, honestly. Yeah, I knew it was it up there. 
Yeah. Or, uh, uh, or one MR by by BPI. Yep. The okay. Original, that was pretty good back in the day. The original yeah. version. Yep. Okay, Eddie, I'm gonna age my I'm gonna age myself here because you know this. I took the original fucking Ultimate Orange in the '90s that had ephedrine in it. That was good oh, shit. Oh shit! Look, look. <laughs> Eddie, that's a fake shit right there. I didn't real. Yeah, that's the fake one. That's the one that Jared Wheat Jared Wheat tried making. <laughs> What about what about Craig, Craig or Aaron? Uh, I want to say something like C four or what's the other one? Um, BPN or something. Aaron, you well, know. I use I use BSN NO explode back in the day. Yeah, that's it. Oh, that yeah. was the shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 where it yep. fizzed up out of its container. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's only by carbonate, and it was fucking <laughs> fucking with blow up. <laughs> Pop well, your cup, SP baby. SP two fifty was my uh, one of my early ones as well. Do you remember that SP two fifty? Gasperi. Yeah. Yeah. Super pumped. That was good shit too. Oh, I loved super that. Pumped. That was so good. Hey, here's a, here's a question that I have from from actually a listener for for Aaron and Craig. So you guys do reviews of a lot of US based products. Is your channel predominantly US based subscribers, or do you have a large following internationally? So we have, um, so our YouTube analytics at the moment are around 40% USA viewers, around 30% UK viewers. So, and then the rest is just spread evenly throughout the world, really. So predominantly US, yeah. So for people that are, so for people that are internationally that are watching your videos and can only get the product here in the US, do they ever give you shit? Be like, great product, but I got to spend $200 in shipping and handling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that happens quite a lot, and we just have to explain. You know, there's a, like a thirty dollar flat rate shipping, and then obviously they just won't buy it. But um, yeah. I think the companies think it's quite worthwhile if um, we just say that our, our main base is US. So if they're in the US, then they're still getting the sales that way. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. And do you guys do you guys record multiple videos in a day? I mean, actually, do you record not 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 air, but record, or do you do like one a day or one at a time? We well, have done in the past, but generally, because um, we're doing them separately now, yeah, we're one of us is bound to be filming any day of the week. So I might be filming today, then Aaron could be prepping the next review tomorrow. But when we're together, um, very rarely do we film get two rolling on the same day. But we have done before if we if we've had to if we know we're busy for the next few days and we've got a sort of get a few done in advance you know yep and jerry yeah. i know you jerry i know you do four to six ten a day don't you oh my God. Uh, I, I do <laughs> i do all of mine on the weekends so like i'll shoot saturday and sunday like four three four videos and then i got like eight videos ready to go for the following week okay. and that's pretty much how i always have a backload of videos so i don't know if you have a better half that, that you live with you just say honey i'm going to the office for a couple hours meaning your car and just start recording <laughs> nope, I'm 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 single, man. Okay. Yep. It's a stud. <laughs> <laughs> and and Eddie, you, and I understand that you generally roll like four hours worth of footage and then chop that down to like forty minutes. <laughs> oh, bitch! <laughs> it calls the entire day. <laughs> the entire day. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker says action. He's falling asleep later. Ah. You just walk around with one of those GoPros off your head, just continuously filming. <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey Eddie, you still haven't done my challenge. Which one? What? Oh, oh, oh! Take it easy yeah, now. Me and Jerry, me and Jerry are gonna try to make a bit. Well, I'm gonna see if I can do it with Jerry, where we come together. And uh, I think, I think I'm gonna have to put you in the challenge, Jerry, where. Me and him can't say one curse word throughout the whole video. So. Never. <laughs> never. Never. <laughs> no, I, I did do one not too long ago, remember? And then I tagged you in it, and I was like, hey, yeah. I didn't cuss in this. Well, no. If anything, maybe we could get something that hooks up to our fingers that shocks us. So that way, every time the curse word comes out, we get juiced. <laughs> you yeah, we'd, probably, <laughs> we'd probably die. <laughs> we get to tase each other. <laughs> <laughs> Gary, was that the that was that the video you got like no likes or no reviews on? Uh, no, it was like uh, <laughs> I I think it was the uh, the deadlift thing, the deadlift video with uh, the Jordanson. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't cuss Did that video at all. You just slice out the swear words. You just edit them out like that little bit of the video. 
No, I it's literally like, it was baby. it was one take too. <laughs> hey, hey, I swear to God, watch it. It's one take. I didn't cuss. It was like professional. <laughs> okay, just paint trick on. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> it was professional for once. I swear to God. <laughs> Only the review, bros, man. Like you guys, I don't know how you do it, man. Every video they make is fucking on point, proper, and fucking. <laughs> I'm like, yo, man. I'm like, God bless you, boys, man. <laughs> Expert editing. <laughs> oh no, I'm <I'm> anyway. <laughs> Actually, yeah, we should put the, let the curse words go through and then bleep them out with like effects. <laughs> yeah, like the dolphin noise from the fucking uh, SpongeBob. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whole entire videos of. <laughs> yeah. Thanks <laughs> to that now. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, Review Brothers, how many takes do you guys generally do when you do your videos? Depends what um, mood we're in and what pre-workout is, because sometimes we're a nightmare and we'll keep messing up time and time again, and then we'll have other days where we smash it in one go. So it, it really is random, isn't it? Yeah, there's been a couple of times I've forgotten to edit out where I'm just sitting there working out the scores in my head, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's all part of the fun. So do one, do one of you guys do the editing and, and everything, or do you both tackle both the editing? We both film and edit individually, yeah, on our own phones. Okay. So we, we pretty much um, are all geared up and, you know, we've got the knowledge to each each of us do it on our own. Okay. And Jerry, to a reasonable just, level. <laughs> and Jerry, you don't even seem to do edits. You just let the shit fly, good, better, different. I've seen some where it's like camera falls, oh, fuck it, just put it back up and just start talking again. <laughs> <laughs> I edit when it when it makes sense. I don't know. Like I edit when it makes sense, but most of the time it's I try to do it one take. So, okay. and then because honestly, just... sometimes there's like, you know, it, whether companies like, hey, there's a coupon code, and then I forget when I'm starting to talk. I'm like, oh shit, what the fuck was the coupon code? Like that yeah. shit happens sometimes. Yeah. Do you guys ever find coupon codes work? Do you guys do you guys get any residuals at all from coupon codes? Depends. I mean, I don't get any kickbacks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Eddie, you work. get a little something though from Resco, don't you? To be honest, when huh? it comes in, you get a little something yeah. from Resco, don't you? Hell yeah, shit, <clears throat> shit. Ain't no free hooker. Eddie sponsored, guys. <laughs> Eddie sponsored. <laughs> no, no, no. He sponsored, no, sponsored. No, 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 not sponsored. I gotta actually get that endorsement paycheck, that nice check, that five hundred dollar bonus to put on my website. <laughs> I just get a commission, and I told people I get a cut. <laughs> yeah. Plus, whenever, I, whenever I do give them the discount code, it's usually towards something that actually does work. <laughs> if the difference is, Eddie, you go to your mailbox, there's a roll of quarters in there for you. There's something for you. <laughs> some old, <laughs> some old chunky fucking vapor. What is that, Play-Doh? <laughs> it doesn't Nothing look wrong with that. Just chew it out before Look at what it turned into. It looks like a oh. turmeric. Yeah, Jerry. Yeah, sending that to it you, looks buddy. Like a fucking, what is that? <laughs> the vegan burger. Like, That's, <laughs> That's for Jerry. Like... Jerry, you never reviewed this. <laughs> oh, nope. I sure didn't. Come looks on, like fucking be birthday one cake. One of everybody's favorites at GNC, man. Muscle Tech. <laughs> yeah, that good old stuff. <laughs> and you just got the last month, didn't you? <laughs> no, this has been there for months. Two years. <laughs> Oh my god. See, that's why I get rid of this shit. Because it's you know, useless now. What the fuck you know, are you supposed to do with that? Well, no, I got a bunch of kids that work out at the house, so they come and use everything, but for some reason they didn't like Neurocore. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe because they weren't sure if they need to fucking mix it or put it between their cheek and gums. No, no, no. These fucking kids, man. <laughs> <laughs> They're taking two scoops of fucking pre-workout every day. That's the problem. I and touched you the side. You need to make a separate wall of what you think is the good stuff so your kids take that shit. Because about half the time, you use something and your shit's always gone from your kids. No, nah, I don't want them to know. That's the key. That's why I mix it in. <laughs> <laughs> You're like Charlie in the chocolate factory, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so when I come down in the dungeon, I know what to reach for and still got what's in the container. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened to Craig? Am I still there? No, Aaron, Aaron's, Aaron's the one that disappeared on us. Oh. <clears throat> so whose gyms are open? Eddie, your jersey. Gyms aren't open. Is a uh, gym open by you, buddy? Uh, uh, Jerry? Yeah, gym's open uh, Monday for me. With okay. mask or without mask? No masks. Wow. Uh, there's, there's literally only the, the only thing there really is is the uh, 
there's an hour limit which no one no one obeys and then there's uh you, you have to uh use hand sanitizer when you come in like what the fuck is that gonna do okay it's and then a temperature check at, at the entry other than that it's pretty much standard shit so but is you, did your gym use spray bottles yeah did your gym have spray bottles to hose down your shit when you're done or no yeah, before and after, but I okay. mean, you're supposed to do that shit before the COVID happened, right? Yeah. I mean, that's fucking, it's yeah. standard shit, really. Okay. Eddie, what's the timeline? You guys got a timeline yet? We're still a month out here in Mass. Wait, did you hear what they did over here? The fucking governor announced another month shutdown. Holy really? shit. Yup, another month. That's why everybody's getting pissed off now. It's not till July. Oh, yeah, you're New York. Yeah, New York, that, New that, Jersey. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, we suck. Everybody's dirty. Yeah, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we, this yeah. is where the real COVID came from, not fucking China. That shit came from right here in Jersey. In front of <laughs> it fucking came from the fucking sewers. That shit. It came from the, the fucking sewers. <laughs> Aaron and Craig, are your gyms open or are you guys still closed? Aaron, um, I think Aaron, your mic is muted, isn't it? Yeah. Possibly. Yeah. My bad. Oh, my bad for that. We are, yeah, we are still closed here. Till July. Yeah. Really? Okay. Potentially July. It might go on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just like us. Impressive. Yeah, I'm sure Robert Apollon is not happy. I saw his tirade, his YouTube, his uh, Instagram thing. I know he wasn't happy, but he can't be happy with this shit. Oh, no, it's costing a lot of money, isn't it? It's just like not allowed to open businesses. It's crazy when the rest of the country are, by the sounds of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. Crazy time. Anything, anything else, guys, that we want to share with the listeners for the very first time here? Whoever wants uh, a free mustache ride, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it on, boys. <laughs> Even the subscribers, the wrong, well, come on down to the dungeon. <laughs> hey, what's the time frame we got, Sean? Oh, we can still keep going, brother. I actually, I actually purchased the 940 minutes. We can keep going. Yeah, he bumped up. He oh, upgraded. Shit. He's elite. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I got a handful of questions. I asked those, and you know, it's just good to get everybody on for a change. I know we share a lot of IMs and DMs and all that other good shit. Now remember, yeah. you can't go you can't go muscle players over three hours now. <laughs> <laughs> so, got a question for you. What's the okay. strongest pre workout you've ever taken? Me personally? Yeah. Uh, hooligan. <laughs> good choice. Good, Hooli good and, and to be honest. <laughs> I, I I wasn't tweaking. I was actually surprised. I was scared. Eddie knows this. I was scared to take that. Yeah. Um, but I felt good. I felt yes, really good yeah. with it. You know, the next one was another company that uh, is now defunct called Muscle Elements. They had a one called Precree XS that had 420 oh, yeah. in it. 420 was very clean as well, but that was just, just energy, like up on energy. Um, but I generally hover between 275 and like 350 is my, is my kind of cap. Mm. Mm. That's what pre-workout are you currently using? I'm sorry? What pre-workout are you currently using? Jeez, I, so I use, so I use Ruthless from Iron Brothers, and that's, I use, that, I use a one scoop at that, and that's like 200 milligrams. Um, yeah. And there's another one called Hustle Supplements that Jerry just reviewed the other day called Drive. Mm. And that's another one that's about 200, give or take. Mm. You know, that can be, that can be double scooped, but those are the two that I'm using now, you know, and then, and then uh, I throw in some carbs once in a while. Yeah, yeah, that's a good you choice. Know. But I was, I was never. I'm not a big, I, like everybody else. I'm not a big DMAA, DMHA product guy, because if I have to sit here and think about how far along I have to take the product before I can bang my wife, I don't want to use it. <laughs> 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 you know it's the next day. Come on. <laughs> oh man. I, I, I don't know about you guys. Have you got? Like, there's free workouts that make your dick not work. For sure, like 100% every time. I think geranium gives you like stim dick, doesn't it? Yeah. Geranium. Oh, geranium. So that's DMA, right? Yes, so yes. A yeah. natural version. Botanical. Yeah. yeah like I, I never I, had that problem. Really? Not from Jack 3D? No. Not that I noticed. It's definitely but... alpha yo, isn't it? Yeah, I think it can be that as well. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't Maybe mean not, not work. It just, it's fun. It's See, I know, another reason to take that shit off the market. Your dick <laughs> yeah. work. Come on. Well, what you're hidden by it to increase blood flow to the penis, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, it actually is. That's the benefit of it. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically. 
for me, I think back it's in the day, such cold sweats. You like. You know how it goes when you're cold; it all goes yeah. back in. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> See, for me, back in the day, I used to use the the high tech, the original Mesomorph that had the I don't know if it was DMAA or DMHA. I used that for a little bit, but yeah, I was I was dead in the water. I think that morning I was dead in the water till the next day. Really? Wow. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's good. <laughs> I mean, it's my good. wife. I think my wife. That's how you judge how good the pre workout is. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Eddie? I know you talked about a lot that your dick don't work. Yeah, it's usually the ones with hot, with real DMAA. <laughs> if it's got, yeah, if it's got real DMAA and it's a high dose, like a uh, oh god, the if anybody had the original real dust extreme from Blackstone last before, it was reformulated four times. That was made by Jared Weed also, which also made Mesomorph the original Mesomorph. If you had the original ones. Those were the real versions. And I also think there was something special in them, to be honest. <laughs> so a lot of times it's not just a DMAA. You keep forgetting, Jerry, because Jerry does, I don't know if Jerry knows this, but a lot of pre-workouts are usually spiked in the beginning. Like, uh, wait, that was damn it. Come Here on, you go again. Again. Here you go. <laughs> hey, this, sh this shit's not getting edited. <laughs> so if a pre-workout pre is spiked with an amphetamine or something in it, it'll usually ruin your wee-wee. <laughs> yeah, like Excelsior, like Modafinil or something. That shit ruined everything. <laughs> but you Jerry, do get the house cleaned. <laughs> Jerry, you got to lick the back of your suction cup there. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Lick it before you stick it. I oh, got fuck it. fuck yeah. <laughs> the good general rule of thumb, right? Are you good now? Huh? I don't know. I, I hope so. You know, I seven minutes before you're driving, you're hitting bumps. I hope so. <laughs> so, review brothers, do you guys ever do anything on, pro on protein, or are you guys strictly pre workouts? Yeah, we do protein, don't we? But we, main, we mainly keep it to Instagram because we find that there's not... Although a lot of people do call for protein, we find that the views are generally lower on them compared to pre-workouts. So we, that's why we tend to keep the proteins to Instagram and then the yep. pre-workouts to YouTube. So, yeah, hmm. we do do it, but we don't really get as many sent to us as the pre-workouts, I wouldn't say. Hmm. And Jer Jerry, right. is there anything you don't do? Because I know you're on a bar kick lately. I know you do everything, but I see a lot more bars lately with you. I don't do thermals or fat burners. Or, okay. or, uh, or else. yeah, pretty much fat burners or therm yeah, pretty much thermal. You say Freddy already. Yeah, I was gonna say it's because you're too lean, too lean, or you just don't yeah, want. Yeah, you're, you're already say Freddy. <laughs> no, I don't like the. Uh, I don't like sweating for no reason. Just like the Alpha Yo, I just don't no. like sweating I for no reason. That shit, I fucking hate it so bad. It takes the games <laughs> away as well, doesn't it? Mm. Like, like if if I'm sweating in my office and the office is seventy degrees at work, there's That's a fucking different. problem. Like, I, I just don't like it <laughs> at all. So I, I that's pretty much. What's that? This made everybody <laughs> sweat. <laughs> I, I I hated that fucking thing. Oh man, shit, that was bad. Oh, you made people sweat like crazy. Like if you took a shower at the gym while you're standing there lifting. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What are some other ones you guys don't review, or do you do everything? We pretty much do everything. Yeah, I would. I do almost everything just to kind of. My biggest, my biggest problem is Jerry. You and I have talked about it, and I need to just get more routine. You know, like I do a video once a week, but I just need to do more. I know you do dropping them almost every day. And review brothers, yep. I know you guys are doing two to three a week on average, if not more. Eddie's yeah, sporadic, like a fucking. Yeah, I'm sporadic. I, it, it goes like, what was it, last month? I did one every day for 30 days, and then now I haven't done one in the last two weeks. <laughs> 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 sure. Well, that's because, you know, I'm working in the background. Nobody knows what's going on yet, so it'll be a surprise when it's all done. But I'm working on some projects right now. they got to be done, and there's nobody else to do it for me. I wish. But um, wait, quick question before everybody starts talking. This is for Jerry and Review Bros. Do you guys notice ever since the COPA Act, that thing kicked in after the YouTube algorithm thing, is like it's weirder now, like we don't get as many views? I think that was uh, more due to COVID-19, wasn't it? No, no. That's what I kind of thought. No, the children, that uh, that thing with the fucking... Yeah, I know what you mean, where you had to disclose if it was for over 18s or not. Yep, that oh. if, our videos were made for if our videos were made for children or not, and they were fighting that, and they, were, they had to upgrade the system. After they upgraded that system on January 1st, I noticed things weren't the same anymore. So when I uploaded it, like, 
if you upload a video every day, you're not going to get as many views because it doesn't reach all the subscribers. If you upload a video like I do sporadically here and there, I'll notice, boom, thousands of views because I didn't put one every up every day. So for like the ones I did every day for 30 days, just anywhere average, of, the, the views are just not there. But when I put up uh -huh. one video every weekend, boom, on an early Monday, Sunday morning, boom, more views. And I'm like, yo, what the hell's going on? And I noticed the algorithm has just been really wacky since then. I didn't really notice that as much as, uh, but then I guess we'd have to be uploading a, probably more often to notice that. Well, I think they're spread out enough. Yeah, you're I think spread the out views enough, just, yeah. yeah, it's hard to tell at the moment. Obviously, with all most gyms shut around, well, they were shut around the world. The views definitely dropped then. So it's, mm. we might notice it when, you know, the other side of this all. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think uh, when... I feel like that that happened right around the time when COVID happened. So it was hard to tell was it, was it COVID yeah. or was it because of the the ages kids thing? I don't know. Who knows? Yeah, who knows? You know, it's just like, and it's just like you boys know. Like with me, I had to start. This is my third new channel. I had to start over again. Yeah, oh, you know, you know the other crazy. two shut down. So that's what gets me nervous with these robots, man. It's not a human. It's a it's a robot that can decide whether you're gonna be up or not the next day. And it's like fuck. What, what happened with that? Do you know what caused that for that to happen? Listen, the first channel, Crazy Eddie Fitness, was a joke. I just did that as for shits and giggles, and no lie. I woke up at 3 in the morning to go pee. No strikes, no warnings, just your channel has been terminated. Gone. Oh, my God. Is there any, no idea what caused it? That one, I had no clue. The second one was the, the old muscle place, which is the original one that I had. <clears throat> and what happened was me, Tim Mariello a bunch of neurotropic people a couple of other people all our channels got shut down and it was a glitch in the system with the robot i guess that we don't know what the hell happened it just started terminating channels and i'm like yo i got people calling me left and right of the youtubers yo my channel just got down my channel just got shut down and i'm like yo what the fuck is going on and i'm like and all of a sudden i could tell when you'll know when they're going to shut your channel down your videos will start getting flagged as soon as i saw the flag on my video after seth from neuroids messaged me he's like bro my videos are getting flagged. I said, well, mine haven't. And all of a sudden, I see a flag. I said, there's the fucking sign. They, the robots start attacking, flagging you, and then sending copyright strikes, and boom, your channel's gone. Skynet. <laughs> Eddie, <laughs> knows, so you, you couldn't appeal it? Because Tim Murillo got his shit back. No. Tim Murillo, like all of us, we were, we were, YouTube doesn't answer you back. You could send 100 fucking emails, and they're always, oh, you know, we're busy, or whatever. They never really answer you back. Tim, actually, I think, what he did when I talked to him, he's like, bro, he wrote a letter like from an attorney and sent it to them. So to get it back up, you need an attorney or something to submit a letter, either stating that you're going to sue them or something. So that way they open up their eyes and say, okay, let's give the channel back if you did nothing wrong. And Tim Muriel, you know, he don't do anything shady or crazy. He's just always, you know, he's at that, you know, everything's yeah, on point. Fine he doesn't for getting in trouble. So, so you didn't, you didn't feel like paying that? Is that why you started over? Yeah, I was like, I'm not going to go, because there's no guarantee either. Even with the attorney, there was no guarantee, because even of my other friends who had the attorney send letters, they didn't get their channels back. Tim just got lucky for some reason. Wow. That's you have more subscribers? Worry, yeah. you have That's more subscribers on those channels? Yeah. Huh? Did you have more subscribers on those channels to now, or no? What, oh, yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, other one, yeah. the, the other one was uh, not even in a year. Not even in a year was going to hit 5,000 subscribers. Yeah. Wow. yeah. I remember that, too. Yeah, because Jerry was there when I we were talking, and and yep. just it was just like, yo. And then when everybody started calling me, it's it's the scariest feeling because you put this work into all these videos, and if you're not you're not getting paid, and even if I was getting paid, it's still depressing, you know. So it's like you oh, put yeah. all the work in, and then all of a sudden you just see it gone like that. You're just like, are you fucking? So it's like, what do you do? You're like, do I keep going or do I give up? And it's uh, like. Uh, well, uh. You have nothing else, you, nothing, you know what I mean? In your mind, you're just like, no, nah, you just can't give up. You just keep going, fuck it. So Eddie, with the new channels, did you upload the old stuff to the new channel or just that was gone now? A whole new, whole new. No, I, I got those on backup drive. It's not even worth it to put up because a lot of those pre-workouts are old and nobody's actually searching them anymore. So okay. it wouldn't be, you know, I mean, it'd be good for more content, but not views because not many people are searching for those products anymore. They're outdated. So I just put up new content and that's it. And now I got four channels. <laughs> So in case anything happens, the other channels already have subscribers and a base on them already. Okay. Yeah. Are there any 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 review channels that you guys like as well that you follow? Besides us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
Besides the ones near plus FDN and No Fate, I guess. And uh, VW Fitness. We like all of them. Okay. I know Review Brothers. I'm surprised you still talk to No Fate because you guys got a big uh, uh, shot in the arm <laughs> six, six, eight months ago when he overtook your channel. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We love a bit of price plow as well, don't we, Craig? Oh yeah, they're our favourite. <laughs> but yeah, the uh, no fake thing with the uh, El Jefe, wasn't it? Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we got some stick for that, even though it wasn't our review. But yeah, we didn't even yes, watch it before we uploaded it. Perhaps that was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but then we reviewed it ourselves and we, you know, gave our opinion and I think that they, everyone was quite happy with it afterwards. But yeah, crazy stuff. <laughs> oh my God. All right, Sean, listen, this is the plan I want to do eventually. I want to do on Muscle Players one day, well, we could all do it on each channel, it doesn't matter. Eventually it'll be on Review Rules, then we do Jerry's and everybody else's, but... What I want to do is get it where you see how we are now with the box. But I know, Sean, you know how to do it. I never did it on Zoom. But, you know, we get the box where you see each of us in each corner spread yep. around, you know, whatever. And then we're going to review a product together. But what's going to happen is we're all going to get a chance to use it before we come on my channel. And you can't come on my channel unless you're all wearing a fucking costume. So, <laughs> you, have to be, you have to be dressed and ready. And then we're going to do, like, flavor – and performance and then what we'll do is like if we all had the pre-workout and we all got to review it during the week and then we go to make the video then we get on the zoom video and we just give like we hold up our paper and show at the count of 10 flavor boom but nobody knows what we're going to give because we're all giving our own honest opinion yep. then we do performance and then we give our feedback boom same thing. put the number up what we think at the same time and boom everybody has their numbers up so we see what we all think if the shit was garbage or not or it worked better for like let's say sean you know so i want to try yeah. something like that well up for that. Well up for that sort of thing. Better go costume shopping, bitches. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. When the dollar store opens again. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess we, do, we just have to find a company that wants to give it out five ways here and spend the uh, $75 for shipping and handling to get it, to get it to us boys overseas. <laughs> Yeah. They got enough there. Yeah. That's, I bet you got review bros. I bet you got like me, like 50 still waiting for a review. <laughs> uh, yeah, at least. Yeah, it's yeah. crazy. That's why we feel like the pressure to get the reviews out. It's just like the companies are chasing us. It's like, hang on. What, what? I be, yo, I've actually turned down companies. I've told them, I said, listen, I don't want to waste your time. I'm being honest. There's no reason for you to even send it to me. I don't want to waste your money. I'm like, I got people waiting. I can't, you know? Yeah, yeah. don't blame you. Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, we have to pre warn companies, didn't we, now, Aaron, and say, look, we've got like a six to eight month backlog just to make you aware because yeah. we're getting companies chasing us so hard. Like, yeah, you've had it a month. Where's the review? It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, then you're getting the DMs. Yeah, when's the video going up? And I'm like, bro, I told you in two weeks. Yep. <laughs> yeah. We've had companies message us that like two days after we got the product. It's like, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even looking at the label yet. <laughs> they expect as soon as you open the as soon as you open the box. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I've not even had a chance to look at the label yet, guys. Let alone even you know anything else. We'd love to use a product like for a solid week though, wouldn't we? And take our time with it. Can you imagine how nice that would be? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice back yeah. review. So not only that, it's like it's like we're not we're not just reviewing shit. Like we have other shit going on in our lives. Like <laughs> the yeah. like we're, sitting here, <laughs> we're sitting here waiting to get this box, and we're reviewing it the very next day. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> Do you guys still get excited? Do you guys still get excited, or is it like, oh, another fucking package, another fucking package? No, <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, no. You, still, you still get excited like a kid at Christmas time, but you know there's yeah, work. Yeah, it's kid Christmas. Work. <laughs> well, yep. It depends if we know what it is. So, for example, we're getting uh, the phase one nutrition stuff over the next couple of days. It's waiting at the post office, so we're quite excited to get that. But if it's just if we know it's going to be a a mediocre product, we're just like. Oh, We'll take it, but you wait You wait 10 years to get a review done. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys. The, re the review will come out in two years. <laughs> in fact, we've taken so long to that the next, it, it, the next version of the product has come out. <laughs> yeah, by then oh, there's fucking right. V2 coming out. You haven't even heard yeah. V1. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Guys, oh, is, there, is there any companies, again, we don't, we don't want to discount 
because everybody's doing a lot of products. There's a lot of good products we've received. Is there any one or two companies, in your opinion, that people listening, you'd say, watch this company because they're, they're going to be doing some good stuff, like just growth. Okay, we'll start with you, brothers. Any companies you'd recommend keep their eyes on? Oh. Um, I would have to say Alpha Neon. I know they're UK at the moment, but I do think that one day they'll try and expand more globally. Um, they, the products they've done, we've, we've had not had a bad one yet. So that they would be one. I'd probably say the others are probably already up there anyway that people are keeping their eyes on. Another one might be Chemical Warfare. Again, they're UK, but they've just brought out a, late, um, a more revised version of all their products and they've stepped up their game a lot. So... I can see them doing better things down the line as well. And CNP, potentially, they're very good. Yeah, they're all as updating. In fact, they're in the middle of updating their stimulant pre-workout, making that better, I think. So, yeah, lots of UK companies doing good things. Do you, do you, when I look at your reviews, Review Brothers, you guys do a lot of the smaller companies, don't you? Because I, I don't think I've ever mm. seen, like, a, a, you know, the bigger companies, the BPIs and, and you know, bigger companies. Yeah, because they don't really need to pay for reviews, a lot of the big ones like that, because they're just, they're already at that yeah. level where everyone kind of knows about them. So they don't, they just think that, that we're small fry. But I think the, the smaller companies appreciate the opportunity more yeah. to get the exposure. Yep. I agree. Jerry, what about you? Any, any companies you really just, you know, blow your mind and say, look, I, this is a company I think I want to follow? Well, it depends. Like <clears throat> from a pre workout standpoint or protein standpoint or protein bars, it just really depends. Just like, in general, just pick one or two companies that did you, regardless of, of, you know, what the category is. Oh, man, I'd have to think about it. There's just so many options. <laughs> I don't know off the top of my head, man. Put him on the spot there. Eddie, yeah, I'll ask you, man. but... What? I'll ask you, but I don't, you're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're the biggest whore of us all. <laughs> what? What was the question? I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to wake you up from a fucking afternoon nap, you old fuck. Yo, man, I got no caffeine, hey, man. Caffeine, no man. More, no more stim <laughs> break, motherfucker. Oh, man, I'm like a bird perch. Going for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> what was the question again about who, I what? Any <laughs> company or companies that you think people should keep an eye on? People that are listening or watching. Oh, that's easy. Rob's Apollon and fucking um, Glaxon. Those are two companies that are going to blow up, I think. To be that's honest. That's a fair yeah. statement. That's a yeah. fair statement. Rob from Apollon and is because Rob's work ethic is fucking sick, like Review Bros and um and Jerry. God, these guys, you know, like that with the fucking their, their work ethic's just insane. And since I know Rob, he's gonna push it to the next level. And Glaxon, since I know Landon, you know, he he's pushing that company. So Glaxon right now, the their marketing and everything is targeting the younger generation, but that's usually like Ghost and all these companies, they know how to target these generation Z millennials and all that. So I think they're gonna grow, yeah. you know? Yeah. 100%. Yeah, I, they I take think... the Alpha Yo out for Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's Alpha Yo for Christmas this year. <laughs> the big tub. <laughs> Man. I, I'll send that shit back. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> with the, with the a fuck you letter. Muscle players pre-workout. Alpha Yo for Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, no, Eddie, I'd, I'd have to agree with that. I think Glaxon, Glaxon has the good mix of products, but they also have the good marketing, too. I think their marketing is spot yeah. on. Marketing is, on, is spot on there. And they're yeah. targeting that, that market, which is this generation of young young people, man. They, they, that's, I hate to say it. That's, that's who your market is. These young kids, they love that shit. You know, anything that looks appealing, like badass or just appealing, like, you know, whatever, they'll, they'll fall for it. And a lot of these companies like Bang get a lot of girls or influencers to push it. And they make Oh, they make yeah. Money. You know, <laughs> yeah, and I think I think you're right with saying Rob too, because I think I think I don't know. I, I you guys know Rob better than I do from Pollen, but I think originally that brand was made like just as a house gym brand. Yeah, and I think it's really taken a, a, a spin of its own. Yep. Uh -huh. Yep. So just just look for Rob and them. You'll see. There, I'm telling you. Watch he puts his heart, years, like you said, years. he puts his heart and soul into those products, and we, yep. we love every single one he's done. And obviously, he's coming out with his new ones. You know, Hooligan soon, the new Enigma. You know, there's not a dis we've not seen a disappointing product from Rob or a pollen. So, uh, yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely one to keep an eye on. I think he's already exploded and he's at that point now. Yeah. Yeah. And he, and he never gets, he never gets stagnant. He never gets complacent. He doesn't sit there. Yeah. And say, oh, the company's doing well. Fuck it. So I'm going to keep the same six products. He'll never do that. <laughs> no, that's why there's so many versions of Assassin and, and Hooligan because he's always wanting to improve it. Yup. Yeah. 
and he always takes feedback well. That's the one thing I have to say too. Is is I know he'll send he'll send samples to different people or, or really take yeah. feedback and listen to it, and he might accept it, he might not accept it, but he's always willing to take it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So. Anyway, guys, any anything else as we wrap up here? Or well, I know we've been on for like an hour and a half. I can make this like I don't know uh, a full length episode for Eddie, or I can break it down to like two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard, you. <laughs> it's already been an hour and a half. Yeah, it's, it it's 5.15, yeah. Oh, oh, damn, it's time for my nap. Yeah. <laughs> it's going. It went crazy quick, and now my camera won't turn on for some reason. So, Wow. <laughs> well, we need to do another one of these, because I feel like we barely even talked about anything. Yeah. 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 You, <laughs> yo, Jerry, you got to come on my channel. Come on. <laughs> Two days later, baby. We're still going at it. Just fucking sipping pre workouts, talking shit. <laughs> We're definitely up for more pre workout collabs, exactly like you said, Eddie, though, where we yeah. do the scorecards and get some proper scores going. Yep. Yeah. What, you, yeah. what I'll do is, as more new shit keeps arriving, I'll let you all know. Jerry and all you know what's came. And then if you don't got it, I'll tell you to hit up the company. I'll tell the guys that you're going to hit them up so that we can do a review together. Yeah, yeah, you know what we definitely. should do? Like yeah. what you just said. But like, yeah. okay, there's an opportunity. We're going to do a collab with six other review channels or whatever. You know, you're going to have to send six tubs or whatever, but it's exposure. I mean, that's yeah. six channels. That's that's yeah. serious opportunity. So, oh, well, yeah, shit. Well, that's it. Between between us here and Matt, you can tell them it's over 10,000 10, subscribers on all the channels combined. Oh, easily. Yeah, but it's, not, it's not even that. They're going to get that traction from that video for years. <laughs> this is yeah. This is exactly what we were saying to, to, to you, Jerry, wasn't it, the other week? We, I think yep. some companies, they completely underestimate how much power us review channels have in terms of getting these views. You know, 100%. It's, um, compared to sponsoring a post on Instagram or paying, and paying someone to do a review, you know, we're, <clears throat> we're, we're the free channels. We've got the potential to, you know, people trust our word as well. So, you know, yep. I think we're... I, I know we're, I might be blowing smoke up our own asses, but I think us lot, we're a gold mine for these companies. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> the, the, I mean, the smaller companies, 100%. I mean, spend 150 bucks to have thousands of reviews, thousands of views that, yes. you know, potentially could buy your shit. That's a fucking no brainer. And if you don't think that's a no brainer, then their marketing is like ridiculously retarded. Like what kind of fucking, like, What's your mindset for marketing at that point? Going you know? out of business. <laughs> or they yeah, just like, know that it won't get a good review. Are you stupid? Like, I don't get it. I just yeah. don't get it. They've got to know that they're not going to get a good review. I yeah. mean, 150 bucks for so much exposure or spend 50 to $100 on Facebook and yeah. Instagram and all this other bullshit. I don't know. It's stupid. No, it's true, Jerry. But the only thing is sometimes they do know they got a shitty product. <laughs> so they won't send it no matter what. <laughs> That's the only thing I can think of. They know their product is shit. Yep. You know, they would rather just have these bogus ass, you know, Amazon reviews that are paid or some shit or yeah. like bot, bot reviews or some shit. And, and not even they're, this. They're scared, they're scared of the truth. They're, they're scared of the truth. That's you ready for this? I know some, co some companies have done this. Let's say, let's say you or Aaron or one of us are going to review a product, right? Let's say it's Super Pump 250 from Gaspar, oh, right? Oh, and you're breaking my heart. That stuff. Oh, man. <laughs> so what they do is they'll say, before we ship it to Jerry, or whatever, put the amphetamines in. Boom. They dump it. They seal it. You get it. You, you're like, this is the best fucking shit in the fucking world. Holy shit. Oh, my God. You got to go get it. Every Now they make millions of dollars because you said that, but you, Man, got, the hey, that's... Spe, you got the one special tub, and that's what I'm scared of because some companies do that. So sometimes oh, we're and then the subscribers are like, yo, it's fucking garbage. And I'm like, yo, did they spike this shit before they sent it to me? <laughs> That would be some shady ass shit, man. No, that's I wouldn't be surprised. We we thought that about that before. Yep. Yep. Yeah, but it, it's true though, because when I spoke to Nick of Rage, he's like he does his own audits. Where he said some companies will go ahead and say, "Send me four tubs for me to test, like their own company, and distribute the rest." And those four tubs will be spot on. Yep. Where, where Nick, what he does is he'll go ahead and reach out to a store that carries his product and get the sample from them, so you know it's like what's circulating out there. You're exactly right. Eddie. Oh man. Yeah, that is yeah. some shady shit. It is. That's Fuck really us. low, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's business, baby. The fucking shady motherfuckers that don't care, man. It's so fucked up. See, at that point, it's like, what do we do? It's not our fault. We got fucking the goddamn greatest tub in the world, and everyone else got this bullshit sprinkled yeah, fairy dust and shit. Care. The company doesn't care, Jerry. That's, they just made a fucking million yeah. dollars off your ass. <laughs> you know? Yeah. That's some shady shit. 
Hell here's, yeah. Uh, here's a question. Other, and, that, and that's the other thing. What was the what was the the, the company? Uh, what was the pre workout that got caught and busted before Excel? <laughs> oh, <laughs> craze. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, craze. So, yeah, yeah, craze. Man. Yeah. And what they do is in the first batches, they're going down the assembly line. Well, this is the trick. They'll throw some of that du special dust on the assembly line. Some of the traces get picked up, go in certain batches. First batches roll out. Everybody talks about it, makes a lot of money. Then all of a sudden, you don't hear shit about it on the next batches. And it's like, come on, man. Man. Mm -mm -mm. Eddie B from Jersey knows all the shadiness. Hell, fuck yeah. <laughs> you got it. Especially, I grew up in New York. That's where I'm originally from. You learn about them. <laughs> Hey, so here's a question. When you guys do reviews, and I know sometimes like Eddie and, and Jerry leave coupon codes, do you ask for them or does the company just throw one at you? I ask for them. So that way my following has some kind of advantage to buy it. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, we're the same. Me and Craig are the same. We'll always ask them um, just to give us a code. We don't Obviously, we don't care about the commission either. It's yeah. just to get yeah. the viewers as much money off as possible. And the, yep. other, the, the other reason is to give them a good chance of getting a better score rating as long as that code is everlasting. Yeah. 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 That's why I got lucky when I found Ruesco and they were willing to work out a deal. And I was like, yo, you boys. I walked into Ruesco. I'll never forget it. I was like, I looked at the prices. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? They were like, uh, is this real? They were like, no, it's real. I was like, I'm like, listen, I can do something with you boys. <laughs> 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 oh yeah because a lot of stores don't carry the underground stuff you know they, they don't want to carry it so i was like yo i could do something with you boys <laughs> that's like body shock we noticed we got ruesco in the u.s we've got body shock here in europe yeah They're the, the, the undergrounds yeah now wait a minute you guys got on what, what's um herbert unique uh supplements I don't, oh I never, yeah i've never been in his store so i don't know does he carry any of the underground stuff no, he's just a pollen, and he um he carries some protein bars. Nothing, oh. nothing exciting, really. Okay, I but a he pollen, he's the only one in the UK, so that's why he's doing so well with it. Okay, I see now. All right, good for him. Yeah, he's a good guy. He is a good guy. Yeah, I met yeah. him in person once. I've never actually been down to his store, but yeah, I, I can imagine because he's the only one with the with the pollen stuff over here. You know, it's like as soon as he gets a batch in, it's gone. <laughs> He's the number one drug dealer in town, baby. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> That's the yeah. thing. Another reason for the coupon code is like, you know, future, they come out with some other shit. They would know that you, they used your coupon code and you sold, you know, however many tubs or whatever. Yep. Yeah. That kind of helps too for future, for future, you know, products and shit like that. Yep. So. Yep. Cause once they know you made them some money, boy, they are calling you up. We're going to send you the new one. <laughs> yep. Pretty much. <laughs> Have any, of the, have any of the companies ever gotten back to you saying, hey, look, dude, I haven't gotten any, any bites or the opposite saying, hey, man, I just got 50 shipments in. Thanks, man. Uh, I've, uh, always got, I've always gotten positive feedback. I've never gotten like, oh, we never gotten anything. But they close with you and say, listen, thanks. I've, you know, I've sold 50, 50, whatever, or 40, you know. Uh, there are some companies I've made a fortune and they've never called me. Okay. Yeah, wow. and, I could, and I could see the analytics because I know how to watch. So I could see I've made some companies literally. And one of them was Blackstone Labs. When I was working with them in the beginning, it must have been over 200,000 I made them. No. Holy on shit. On the dust? On the, on the angel dust? No, on the original Dust Extreme when it came oh, out, dust when extreme. I was okay. with them. And I was promoting them when I started the Blackstone Labs channel review. That channel right now is at almost 4,000 subscribers. And I forgot. I just let it go. And then after I got into it with someone in the office over there, I was like, fuck you. I ain't working with you bitches no more. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So you see, if you can't see your analytics of how many sales you're bringing, you don't know your value. What will happen is in your mind, you don't know. But once you know where your value's at, oh, yeah. that's where you're like, wait a minute, fuck this shit. <laughs> oh, I, you know, I'm helping you people make a fortune. At least throw me some free supplements or something. Because some companies will fucking rape you and then just take advantage of you. So you got to watch who's taking advantage. Because there's some companies right now that I've, I'm not going to mention names, but they know who they are if they're watching. You know, they owe me so much money and they're millionaires and have never sent me anything and promised they were going to send it. So be yeah, careful. That's something we need to work on. A what? I can't hear you, Craig. What was that? No, that's me and Aaron need to work on. We need to get our statistics and data of the sales that we get from these companies so we can, you know, put a portfolio together for other companies because that's, that's actually something that come up with Morphogen and it was one of the reasons um, 
he sort of got me wound up because he didn't have any analytical data to show him that we were getting peak these company sales because it's not something we track. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, like that's what I'm saying. And I'm and I'm and I'm you know, like Jerry, all of us, yo, we all got bills. You know, we all you, you can't just keep making everybody else all this money. Eventually, don't get me wrong, we're not getting paid sponsor like that, but for us to get at least three percent to five percent of each sales, like fucking a dollar here a dollar there, it adds up to help us with our channels and keep going. And then, we're right. gonna, and remember, sometimes, remember, not all of it was free. Some of the shit I bought myself through Ruesco when, you know, at their wholesale cost, but I've said, you know, since the company's never contacted me back or didn't want to ship it, but my subscribers want to see it, I got to buy it. So there's cost involved with these things. That, and some of those things that if we can make even a little bit, it helps offset, you know, what we got to do, you know? Brother but needs quick money. Giving honest reviews. That's the whole point. I never wanted to tell people bullshit. I always wanted to keep it real and be like, okay, it's good. If it's bad, then it's just fucking bad. Don't waste your money. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. you need wig money, man. Brother needs wig money. Oh, fuck yeah. You know how much this shit costs? Five dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, guys, you know, I, I want to, I guess, well, we'll kind of start wrapping things up here a little bit, but uh, definitely want to do this again. You know, next time we'll, we'll get some more traction, get some questions. And I know today was kind of a, a free for all, but, you know, it's, it's nice to finally put names and voices and faces and everything. Aside from this fucking Freddie Mercury, whatever the hell you want to call him, a bad Joe Ron <laughs> Jeremy, whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> I told you free mustache, right, baby? What's up, Sean? You're next. <laughs> oh, so you give, you give Matt the horn, you give me the mustache? Is that how it works? Yeah, once you hop off, it's connected to your, your nutsack. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Children, cover God. your ears. <laughs> but anyway, guys, it, it's been a pleasure. You know, when you guys want to do this again, I'd love to have everybody on and, you know, just have some fun. Let some shit fly. Next time I'll be yeah. caffeinated. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should all take a pre-workout that's got Alpha Yo in it 30 minutes before we do this call. Jerry! Right. Oh. been standing for you, Jerry. Not happening, man. Not happening. <laughs> <That'd> be, <funny. laughs> be sweating in the camera like the battery is still so yeah. right? <laughs> Holy shit. It's hot out already. It's hot out already, man. I don't need that fucking alpha yo. <laughs> but yeah, we'll have, we're happy to get some questions as well for a for a future future one of these, you know, whatever our, our following wants to to see being said, questions, you name it. We're up for we, you know, we're not we don't shy away from conversation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll do some surprise pop ins for some of the people you guys have been bantering with. Who knows? Yeah, that would be yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey, did did you guys talk about any kind of drama shit before I got on? I, no. I was no, we banned it. Good. We banned it. We weren't gonna. We weren't gonna do it. So we said, "Fuck it." <laughs> we did, did another podcast. With, um, I'm trying to keep my channel, that. bitch. <laughs> Jerry, you stay on. You stay on for everyone. Stay on for a minute. We'll stop recording. We can talk a little bit about it if you want. Oh God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, guys, I appreciate everybody. You know, jumping on. I know it's a Sunday afternoon and a Sunday night for for the guys in the UK, but uh, it's definitely been a pleasure, guys. I look forward to doing it again. Yeah, yeah friend, no, everyone. Look. Subscribe to everyone. It doesn't cost the goddamn penny. Stay steam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, bitches. <laughs> Jerry, lay down the tagline, brother. Lay down the tagline. Which one? Does it cost a penny? Nope, the other one. Oh, give a thumbs up. <laughs> Hashtag. What's up? Hashtag games. <laughs> thumbs it up. Does it cost a penny? Help the channel grow. <laughs> All of us are trying to grow out here. Come on. Even we've had Do to use that Eddie. one a few times. Do it for Eddie. Fuck yeah. yeah. Do it for Hell Eddie. yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, guys. Stay on for a minute. Be well. All right.